Have you ever stopped to think about what really happens behind the scenes of the universe? What is behind those inexplicable moments when something greater seems to intervene in our lives? Perhaps more than ever, it is time to explore the world of angels, these mysterious and powerful beings who act in silence, fulfilling missions that transcend our understanding. The Bible gives us fascinating clues about the secret lives of angels, but do we really understand how profoundly they influence our lives? How are these heavenly messengers connected with the great events of history and, surprisingly, with such earthly issues as money and everyday decisions? The answer may be more intriguing than you think. Angels are beings of pure light, created by God for a very special purpose. They do not have physical bodies like ours, but they possess an intelligence and power that goes beyond our comprehension. In the vast heavens, they carry out the divine will, always acting in perfect obedience. Just as the Bible teaches us in Colossians 1.16, all things were created by God, visible and invisible, and angels are living proof of this creative power. Not only do they exist, but they also play pivotal roles in the divine plan, helping human beings in ways we often don't realize. Imagine that as you walk down a busy street, unknowingly an angel may be by your side, guiding your steps and protecting you from unseen dangers. This idea of invisible protection is comforting and reminds us that we are not alone in our journeys. Angels as spirit beings transcend our physical limitations and can be in many places at once, always acting for the benefit of those who trust in God. They are like the wind. You cannot see them, but you can feel their presence and the impact of their actions on your life. Thinking of angels in this way helps us understand that the spiritual world is just as real as the physical world. And just as money has its value on earth, the presence of angels is a heavenly treasure that cannot be bought, but is given as a divine grace to those who believe. These heavenly messengers are a direct link between heaven and earth, and their existence inspires us to seek more knowledge about the biblical stories that reveal the purpose and nature of these extraordinary beings. Angels have a special mission. They are God's messengers bringing revelations and guidance directly from heaven to earth. Throughout biblical history, we see angels appearing at crucial moments, such as in the prophet Daniel's vision, where the angel Gabriel flew quickly to meet him to deliver an important message, Daniel 9.21. These meetings are not mere ancient accounts. They show how much God cares about communicating his will to mankind, using his heavenly messengers to guide the steps of the faithful. Imagine that you are facing an important decision in your life something that can change your destiny. Sometimes the answer may come in an unexpected way, such as a whisper in the heart or an intuition that you can't ignore. These moments of clarity can be the action of angels who bring divine guidance to our daily lives. Just as wise advice from a friend can help us make money or make a wise financial decision, an angel's message can lead us on the right path, aligned with God's plan. The angels, in their wisdom, know how to translate the complex divine orders into practical guidance for us. They understand the challenges we face and, as good mentors, offer the guidance we need to overcome obstacles and move forward. The next time you are in prayer or reflection, remember that, just like in the Bible, angels can be around you, ready to bring you the right message at the right time, guiding you through difficulties and bringing you closer and closer to the realization of divine purposes. In the grand heavenly setting, angels are seen as God's greatest worshippers. They are continually praising and glorifying the Creator, extolling His majesty in a worship that never ceases. In Revelation 5, 11, 12, we are presented with an extraordinary vision where millions of angels surround the throne of God, loudly proclaiming the dignity of the Lamb who was slain. This unceasing worship reveals to us the deep love and reverence that angels have for God, something that inspires us to reflect on our own way of worshiping and connecting with the divine. Just as angels are dedicated to worshiping God, we too can find ways to integrate that devotion into our daily lives. Worship does not have to be restricted to formal times of prayer or worship. It can be expressed in small actions, such as helping others, meditating on a Bible verse, 
or even contemplating the beauty of creation around us. Just like the angels who find joy and purpose in praising God continually, we can turn our daily actions into an act of worship, acknowledging the divine presence in all that we do. Angel worship also reminds us of the importance of directing our energy to what really matters. In a world where we are so often distracted by material concerns, such as making money or achieving success, the angels show us that there is immeasurable value in simply being in tune with heaven. They invite us to elevate our thoughts and hearts to something greater, to a spiritual connection that transcends earthly concerns and brings us closer to the true purpose of life. Angels play a crucial role as protectors and guides of the faithful, offering protection and guidance during the most challenging times. The Bible teaches us in Psalm 91, 11, that God commands his angels to keep us in all our ways, ensuring that we are not alone, even in the most dangerous times. These heavenly beings are always ready to help us, whether it's leading us away from impending danger or leading us toward the light when everything around us seems dark. Think, for example, of a situation in which you felt a sudden change of plans or a strong intuition not to go down a certain path. Often these experiences can be interpreted as the intervention of angels who act discreetly to protect us. Just like a mentor guiding us through an important financial decision, helping us avoid losses, the angels guide us away from spiritual and physical dangers Ensuring that we remain safe on our journey, the angels with their watchful eye and devoted heart are like invisible guardians, always present even when we don't notice them. They accompany us every step of the way, ensuring that despite the difficulties we may face, we remain on the right path. This understanding invites us to trust more in divine providence, knowing that, just like the angels who guide us, we are also called to be guides and protectors to those around us, spreading good and safety wherever we go. Within the vast celestial realm, angels are organized into a complex and diverse hierarchy, each performing specific roles in God's great plan. The Bible reveals to us that there are different orders of angels, such as archangels, cherubim and seraphim, each with distinct and significant roles. In Isaiah 6, 2, Three, for example, we find the description of seraphim, who with their six wings ceaselessly proclaim the holiness of God, filling the heavens with their worship. This hierarchy not only reflects the divine order, but also the variety of missions that angels have, showing the depth and complexity of the spirit world. Just as in a well-structured organization, where each member has a role that contributes to the success of the whole, the angels operate in perfect harmony, each fulfilling their mission with precision and dedication. Think about how a company works. Success depends on each person performing their role correctly, whether it's the director making big decisions or the assistant ensuring that daily operations run smoothly. In the same way, the angels work together, some protecting, others guiding, and still others praising, forming a celestial system that resembles a divine symphony. The diversity among the angels also teaches us about the importance of recognizing and valuing the different talents and roles that we all play in life. Like the angels, each person possesses unique gifts that, when aligned with a higher purpose, can contribute significantly to the common good. As we understand the hierarchy of angels, we are inspired to respect differences and collaborate in harmony. Knowing that just as in heaven, here on earth we are also part of a great and interconnected divine plan. Angels, in addition to being messengers and protectors, are also engaged in a constant battle against the forces of evil. This spiritual warfare is waged in the heavens and reflects the struggle between good and evil that we all in some way face on a daily basis. In Revelation 12, 7, we read about a war in heaven where the archangel Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, symbol of Satan and his followers. This passage reminds us that angels are not only beings of peace, but also powerful warriors who defend God's kingdom and the faithful fighting tirelessly to ensure that good prevails. In our daily lives, this spiritual warfare can manifest itself in many ways, from internal struggles against temptations to great challenges that seem to test our faith. 
Just as a soldier needs strategy and strength to win a battle, we too need to be prepared, trusting in the protection and strength that the angels offer us. When we face moments of despair or doubt, we can remind ourselves that we are not alone in this struggle. The angels are by our side, fighting on our behalf and guiding us to spiritual victory. The presence of angels in spiritual warfare gives us the courage to face our own challenges, knowing that we have powerful allies on our side. Just like an elite team that acts to protect a nation from unseen threats, angels work tirelessly to defend us from forces that we often don't even realize. This awareness calls us to strengthen our faith, to pray more fervently, and to always seek the light, trusting that even in the most difficult battles, there is a legion of angels at our side ready to fight for us. Angels, in addition to being messengers and protectors, also play an important role as agents of divine judgment. The Bible shows us that on several occasions, God sends his angels to execute his judgment on nations and individuals who depart from his ways. In 2 Thessalonians 1, 7, 8, it is described how the Lord Jesus will be revealed coming from heaven with his powerful angels to punish those who do not obey the gospel. This vision reminds us that angels are not only beings of light and protection, but also instruments of divine justice, who act to restore order and holiness. Just like a judge who applies the law to maintain order in society, angels are charged with executing God's judgment, ensuring that evil is punished and justice prevails. Think about how laws work in our world. They exist to protect people's rights and keep the peace. Likewise, divine judgment, administered by angels, is necessary to ensure that God's justice is maintained, both in heaven and on earth. These moments of judgment are not only chastisements, but also opportunities for redemption and correction for mankind. The role of angels as agents of judgment invites us to reflect on our own actions and choices. Just as they are responsible for applying justice, we are also called to live according to divine principles, always seeking the path of righteousness. As we understand the role of angels in God's judgment, we are encouraged to review our attitudes and align our lives with divine will, knowing that heavenly justice is inevitable, and that like angels, we should strive to be examples of righteousness and justice in the world. In the grand narrative of Christ's second coming, angels play a key role, acting as the announcers and executors of final events. They will be present to gather the elect, blowing the trumpets that will echo through the heavens, as described in Matthew 24, 31. These final moments, full of glory and majesty, are largely marked by the presence of these heavenly beings who accompany Jesus on his triumphant return. The image of angels descending from heaven alongside the Savior is powerful and reminds us of the deep connection between heaven and earth, especially at the most significant moments in divine history. The presence of angels at Christ's second coming also invites us to reflect on our own preparation for this great event. Just as we prepare for important moments in life, whether it's a crucial exam or a great opportunity to make money, we must prepare spiritually for Christ's return. The angels, with their trumpets and power, warn us about the importance of being ready, with our hearts aligned with the divine purpose, living in constant vigilance and faith, waiting for the return of our Lord. This grand vision challenges us to live with purpose and determination. The angels show us that the time of the spiritual harvest is approaching and that our actions here on earth have eternal consequences. It is a reminder for us to focus on what really matters, our relationship with God and with others. The angels alongside Christ will be witnesses of our spiritual legacy and this inspires us to live in a way that reflects the values of the kingdom of heaven, knowing that one day we will all be gathered under divine protection and justice. Angels, in their various appearances, take forms ranging from human figures to celestial creatures of indescribable beauty and glory. The Bible shows us that at certain times, angels can manifest themselves in such a common way that they go unnoticed, as mentioned in Hebrews 13, 2, where some have welcomed angels without even realizing it. At other times, they appear with a magnificence that leaves those who see them in a state of awe and awe. This duality in their appearances reveals the mystery and depth of their natures. 
Being both accessible and incomprehensible to the human eye, the idea that an angel can be among us, disguised as an ordinary person, makes us reflect on how we treat others in our daily lives. Just as you can help a stranger on the street without expecting anything in return, that act of kindness can be much more meaningful than you think, as you may be dealing with a heavenly messenger. This teaches us the importance of being kind and welcoming, regardless of appearances, because we never know the true identity of those who cross our path. On the other hand, the glorious appearances of angels remind us of the grandeur of the heavenly kingdom. When we think of the angels who appear with radiance, as in the resurrection of Jesus, we are led to contemplate the beauty and glory of God. These apparitions inspire us to seek beauty and holiness in our own lives, recognizing that while angels may be invisible on many occasions, their presence is a constant reflection of the divine majesty that permeates heaven and earth. Angels have a special role in the stories of the prophets, acting as intermediaries between God and his chosen ones, bringing messages, revelations and guidance. Throughout the Bible, we find several occasions where angels appear to prophets, as in the case of Zechariah, where an angel helped him understand the visions he received, Zechariah 1.9. These heavenly encounters not only illuminated the path of the prophets, but also shaped the course of history by bringing to humanity the divine word in a clear and direct way. The angels, therefore, are like spiritual guides, helping the prophets to fulfill their sacred missions. Imagine being at a crossroads of life, where the decisions you make can have profound consequences for the future. Just as prophets were guided by angels at critical moments, we too can seek this divine guidance in our lives. It can be through prayer, meditation on the scriptures, or even searching for signs that help us make the best decision. The angels who once guided the prophets continue to be our spiritual allies, ready to help us understand the path we should follow. The interaction between angels and prophets also teaches us the importance of being attentive to the messages that are sent to us. Often in the midst of the rush of everyday life, we can ignore or not notice the answers we seek, just as prophets needed to be in tune with God in order to receive his instructions. We too must cultivate an open and attentive heart, ready to receive and follow heavenly guidance that can transform our lives and guide us toward God's purpose for us. In the most significant event in Christian history, the birth of Jesus, angels played an essential role, announcing the good news and protecting those involved in this sacred moment. They appeared to Mary, bearing the message that she would be the mother of the Savior, and to Joseph, assuring him that what was happening was part of the divine plan. In Luke 2.13, 14, a great crowd of angels appeared to the shepherds, praising God and proclaiming the arrival of the Messiah. These angels not only announced the birth of Jesus, but also ensured that everything happened according to God's will, showing the importance of their presence in the most decisive moments of history. The intervention of angels in the birth of Jesus shows us how God takes care of every detail in his plan for humanity. Just as the angels ensured that Jesus' birth took place in peace, we can trust that they are also present in our most important moments, protecting and guiding us. It is as if, in the midst of the challenges we face, we have an invisible force by our side, ensuring that we are on the right path, just as the angels ensured that Mary and Joseph were. This thought brings comfort and hope, especially when faced with situations that seem to be beyond our control. Furthermore, the angels' song to the shepherds, announcing God's peace and goodwill, reminds us of the joy and purpose that Jesus' birth brought to the world. Just as shepherds were led to worship the newborn Savior, we are invited to recognize and celebrate the blessings in our lives, seeing each moment of joy as a reflection of divine goodness. The story of Jesus' birth with the participation of angels inspires us to maintain faith and hope, knowing that just as on that holy night, God continues to send his angels to guide and protect us on our journey. Angels played a central role in the resurrection of Jesus, being the first to announce this victory over death. In the account of Matthew 28, 5, 6, we see that it was an angel who revealed to the women that the tomb was empty, saying, He is not here, he is risen, as he had said. 
This apparition not only brought the most important news of the Christian faith, but also showed the power and glory of God in action. The presence of the angel in the tomb symbolizes the bridge between heaven and earth, where the divine intervenes directly to change the course of human history. The announcement of the angel in the resurrection invites us to reflect on how God reveals his presence in moments of great transformation. Just as women were the first to know about the resurrection, being led to share this good news, we too are called to recognize and share the miracles that occur in our lives. It could be an unexpected recovery, a problem solved in a surprising way, or a positive change that seemed impossible. These are the signs that even in the darkest of times, divine light always finds a way to shine. The resurrection, announced by the angels, also reminds us of the importance of hope and faith in our lives. Just as the angel brought a message of life where there was death, we are invited to keep the faith even in the most desperate situations. This story inspires us to believe that, with God, nothing is lost, and that the angels continue to accompany us, ready to announce the victory of good over evil in our lives. The resurrection is therefore not only a historical event, but an ongoing symbol of the presence of angels who guide and strengthen us in our spiritual journey. Angels have an important role in intercession, presenting the prayers of the saints before God. In Revelation 8, 3, 4, we see the image of an angel before the golden altar, offering much incense along with the prayers of all the saints. This powerful scene shows us how angels act as intermediaries, taking our supplications directly to the divine throne. Not only do they listen, but they also amplify our prayers, ensuring that each request is carefully considered by God. It is as if, in our spiritual journey, we have heavenly allies who intercede for us, ensuring that our voices are heard in heaven. The idea that angels are involved in intercession brings us great comfort and reinforces the importance of prayer in our lives. Just like a faithful friend who takes our requests to someone in a position of power, angels act as these divine intermediaries. When you pray for something that is very important, knowing that the angels are presenting those prayers to God can strengthen your faith and patience. It encourages us to keep praying, even when answers seem to be delayed, trusting that angels are by our side, making sure that every word is heard. Additionally, the role of angels in intercession reminds us that we are not alone in our spiritual battles. They are constantly around us, offering support and presenting our causes before God. This creates a deep connection between heaven and earth, where our needs, hopes and desires are taken seriously by the Creator. The angels, as they intercede for us, encourage us to persist in prayer, knowing that with heavenly support, we have a powerful force working on our behalf. Since the dawn of biblical history, angels have played a crucial role in the lives of Israel's patriarchs, guiding them, protecting them, and revealing the divine plan. One of the most emblematic examples is in Genesis 28, 12, where Jacob, during a dream, sees a ladder that goes from earth to heaven with angels ascending and descending through it. This vision not only marked Jacob's life, but also symbolized the ongoing connection between heaven and earth, where angels act as mediators of divine blessings and guides in the spiritual journey of the patriarchs. The interaction of angels with patriarchs also teaches us about the importance of being mindful of divine guidance in our own lives. Just as Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob relied on the angels who guided them through critical moments, we too can look to this spiritual guidance in our daily decisions. When we face times of uncertainty or need to make important decisions, remembering the stories of the patriarchs and how they were led by angels can inspire us to trust more in divine providence and be open to the signs God places in our path. These encounters of the patriarchs with the angels also show us that God is always present, even in the most challenging situations. Jacob's ladder, with the angels ascending and descending, is a visual reminder that we are never alone. Angels are constantly working on our behalf, connecting our needs with divine power. As we reflect on the lives of the patriarchs, we are encouraged to cultivate a deep faith 
and believe that just as the angels cared for them, they are also by our side, guiding us on our spiritual journey and ensuring that God's plan is fulfilled in our lives. Not all angels remained faithful to God's plan. There was a rebellion led by Lucifer, one of the most powerful angels, who wished to be equal to the Creator. This act of pride and disobedience resulted in the expulsion of Lucifer and his followers from heaven, turning them into demons. In Revelation 12, 9, we read about the fall of the great dragon, identified as Satan, and his angels, who were cast down to the earth. This event is one of the most impactful narratives in the Bible, revealing how even the most exalted creatures can fall when they stray from God's will. The story of the angels' rebellion serves as a strong warning about the dangers of pride and disobedience. Just like Lucifer, who was seduced by the lust for power, we too can go astray when we allow ego and ambition to guide us. This story invites us to reflect on our own choices and the importance of remaining humble and faithful to the path that God has traced for us. It reminds us that true power lies in serving and obeying, not in seeking our own glory. Despite the fall of the rebellious angels, the narrative offers us a lesson in hope and redemption. Even with the presence of evil in the world, represented by Satan and his demons, God's plan continues to be fulfilled. The struggle between good and evil, which began with Lucifer's rebellion, still persists, but the final victory belongs to God. This story inspires us to resist the temptations that lead us away from God, and to trust that just as the faithful angels stood firm, we too can overcome adversity by maintaining our faith and integrity. Angels, in addition to all their other functions, are sent by God to serve those who will inherit salvation. They are ministering spirits, always ready to help the faithful in their spiritual journey, offering protection, guidance and support in times of need. In Hebrews 1.14, the Bible assures us that angels are sent to serve those who belong to God, a powerful reminder that even in our daily struggles, we have heavenly allies on our side. This mission of the angels shows us the depth of God's love, which not only guides us but also surrounds us with constant support through his messengers. The idea that angels are at the service of the faithful brings great comfort, especially when we face challenges that seem beyond our capacity. Just like a faithful friend who always shows up when we need it most, angels are ready to intervene in our lives, whether it's warding off dangers or inspiring us to make the right decisions. Knowing that we have these guardians by our side gives us the confidence to move forward, even when the path seems uncertain, reminding us that we are never truly alone. This understanding of the role of angels also inspires us to live worthy of this divine protection and service. Just as angels are called to serve, we are also called to serve one another, reflecting the love and grace we have received from God. The constant presence of angels in our lives is an encouragement for us to live with faith, courage, and purpose, knowing that as we do our part, we have heavenly support to help us reach our spiritual destiny and fulfill God's plan for our lives. Once you've unlocked the secrets of angels and understood the profound impact they have on our lives, the big question that remains is, what are you going to do with all this knowledge? The presence of these celestial beings by our side is not just a distant story, but a reality that can transform your daily life. Have you ever thought about how to apply these teachings to strengthen your faith, make wiser decisions, or even find peace in the midst of tribulation? It is time to act, to transform theory into practice, and to seek a life more aligned with the divine purpose. So, are you ready to embrace this celestial journey? If so, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to continue exploring these deep, life-changing mysteries. Let's unveil more about what the heavens have to reveal to us together.